in center of triangle. First thing, what exactly mean by in center? In center is a circle which touch the circle, uh, sorry, is a circle which touch the triangle from inside, touching all three sides. That is called the in center, uh, in circle. This circle name is the in circle. Circle name, in circle of ABC. If this triangle is the ABC. Understood my point? So, in circle is what circle? The circle which is inscribed. Inscribed. This is called as the inscribed. Inside the triangle. Touching all three sides. And the center of this circle. Center of this circle is called as the in center. This is called as the in center of, of ABC. I hope able to understand everybody. And represented by capital I. The center of this circle is represented by I. This is the I is called the in center of the triangle. Did you understand the meaning? What actually meaning of the in center? Is it clear to everybody? Now let's proceed further into this one. And let's understand definition. Anyone can tell me definition. I is what? Right definition. In center of a triangle, triangle is the intersection of internal angle bisector, internal angle bisector of triangle. In center is the internal angle bisector of triangle. Remember internal angle and external angle are not. Same thing. So if anybody asks what is, how will you uh, show the this in center. So first thing, this angle, draw a line from here, which is bisecting this angle. Suppose this is a 60 degree, so it should, line should be this way, 30 degree here, 30 degree here. So Suppose one of the line is coming this way. Yes. Is it necessary? This should be midpoint? No, it's not necessary. This is midpoint, not necessary. But this means that ki this angle will be equal to this angle. Same way from here you draw one angle bisector which is the equal angle both sides. Something like this will come. This angle equal to this angle. The intersection point of this will be I. The intersection point of this will be I. If third one also you will draw, that will also pass through this only. Because, because internal angle bisectors are always concurrent lines. Internal angle bisector, internal angle bisectors of triangle, of triangle are concurrent lines. Make sure you understood this part. Okay, concurrent. This 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 is you should keep in mind. Concurrent. Why? It's a very simple thing, but it's a play very important role. If these things will be there in your mind, it will not face problem. Chali, now we have to target ki if these vertices are given, can I get the coordinate? If the coordinate of vertices are given, can I get the coordinate of the in center or not? That is my target next. Right? Little bit geometry is required and I know that ki all of you forgot 9th, 10th class geometry. That is very common. Yay. 
one triangle A, B, C. Suppose this length is the A, this is the B, this is the C. First thing, whenever any angle bisector is there, if any angle bisector meet the opposite side at a D point, so always remember BD by DC means this length by this length will be always in the same ratio as the side ratio. From here, the, the, the angle bisector of two sides. Whose two sides angle bisector? This angle, two sides. So it will be always equal to, means this side value will be C, this side value will be B. Again, I'm making, I'm not saying this length is C. Means this ratio by this ratio is the C, C by B. Means C by B. Are you able to understand everybody? Very important point you have to keep in mind. Similarly, if I draw another angle bisector and that's meet at E. So can you tell me everybody type the answer AE by ES. AE by EC will be what? Speak out everybody. AE by EC. Write the answer. AE by EC. B. Boom. AE by EC. Are you, this is the angle bisector. Now don't look this. This is bisector of which two sides? These two sides. So this ratio will be in the same ratio. Means that will be C here and B A here. So that will be equal to C by A. Is this clear to everybody? Am I clear to everybody? Suppose somebody say, this is the one triangle. This length is 5. This length is 3. Tell me what is this ratio to so say 5 is to 3. If this is the angle bisector. This point will divide these two points in the ratio 5 is to 3. Or is something understood? Imagine a right angle triangle. Yeah. Let's say this length 3, this length 4. And if I draw one angle bisector from here. Understood my point? If this total length is the, of course this total length will be 5 only. I, I don't have to tell you. Because this is the 3, this is the 4, this will be 5. Yes or no? So suppose this is the A, B, C, D. Can you tell me A, D length? Everybody calculate and tell me A, D length. Check it here. A, D by D, C. 100% sure that will be equal to what? 3 by 4? Yes or no? So D, C I can say 4 by 3 A, A, D. But AD plus DC will be equal to 5. So AD plus DC, I can calculate from here, 4 by 3, AD is equal to 5. AD common. And what will come? 3 plus 1, 7 by 3. Equal to 5. So AD will be what? 15 by 7. This length, 15 by 7. One more thing I wanted to know here. Concentrate on this triangle, the triangle which is I am making covered. Yeah, this triangle. All of you can see. Can I say this triangle, for this triangle also, this is the angle bisector? Why for this triangle, this is the one of the vertex. And this is bisecting already. So this is the angle bisector for this triangle also. 
If this is one of the angle bisector, then let's say this is the your something. I, I know it will be I only. Can I get this ratio? I can say ID, I can say. Sorry, AI, I can say. I will say AI by ID 100% sure C by BD or not. Why for this triangle, this is the two sides. Speak out. So this by this will be this side by this side. Hello. Right? Can I get BD? Yes, we can get it. Because I know, same like, BD by DC, I know C by B. So from here, DC, I can say what? DC will be D by C BD. And BD plus DC is equal to A. And BD is what? BD will be, BD we are interested. Plus DC value, I can write B by C into BD equal to A. BD common. So BD will be equal to AC by B plus C or not. Check any step are you finding difficulty? Is this clear to everybody? So I can put BD value here. So I'll get C by AC by B plus C. This your C get cancelled. And you are going to get B plus C by A. This B plus C will go in numerator. That means this I divides A and D in what ratio? Here B plus C and here will be A. Means how to remember? This is the angle bisector passing from A. So this side will be A length. I am saying A length but take it ratio. A ratio and here will be balance of apart from the A, B plus C. It will be easy to remember. Speak out. Tell me. Here what you will say in this ratio? This will be surely B and this will be A plus C. Correct? If I join from here, this will be C and this will be A plus B. Something understood everybody. It's a very important ratio, very small thing, but believe me, it's a play very crucial role. People say, Tharki, I know triangle, I know centroid formula in center formula, but I'm not able to solve question. Are, how will you be able to solve question if you're not able to analyze the triangle? Correct? So what we learn, ki if any triangle is there, you will drop angle bisector. And suppose this is the X length, this is the Y length, this is the Z length, this one. So this will be X is to Y. X is to Y. And if you draw one more and say this is the I, so this by this will be what? So this, not length ratio I am writing. This, this, this will be, this first this, this will be your, uh, what is this? Suppose this Z. So Z and this will be X plus Y. Is it clear to everybody? We have to do the, this is the ratio I taught, but question is remain same, but now it will be very easy. One triangle I am taking, watch it. This is your A, X1, Y1, watch carefully everybody, B, X2, Y2, C, X3, Y3, one of the angle bisector, this is D. And let's say this is your I. Yeah, this is the I. Right? The first thing, 
I'm not writing, but you should know this is the A length, this is the C length, this is the B length. So one thing is very sure, ki D coordinate I can write. Think carefully. This is ratio is what? C is to B. This ratio, C is to B. To D coordinate. B into X2 plus C into X3 divided by B plus C comma B into Y2 plus C into Y3 by B plus C. D coordinate is ready. Yes or no? Now, I try to recall this side ratio will be this one A and this side ratio will be this side ratio sum of these two sides B plus C. Speak out. Now, I coordinate will be what? Directly I am doing. Watch it. B plus C, this side ratio will multiply with the this side and this will multiply with the this. Remember everybody, this is the internal division. So B plus C will multiply with this. Plus A will multiply with this. AX1 plus B plus C into this. B plus C into this. So B plus C will be bye bye. BX2 plus CX3 divided by sum of ratio A plus B plus C. Understood? Comma. Same way. Why also same thing to directly I'm writing. AY1 plus BY2 plus CY3 divided by A plus B plus C. This is the in-center formula if vertex are give, coordinates are given. 